In this episode, we're looking at the pit stop compatibility with printer versions, accessories, and mods. I designed the pit stop extruder to work with Prusa Mark III S printers. It uses the Mark III S sensor, and I'm happy that Prusa moved to this new one. For me, it's way more reliable, especially with transparent filaments. If you have the older Mark III, like I had when I first got this printer, there's an upgrade kit you can purchase from the Prusa website. Also comes included in the multi-material upgrade. One of the core aspects of Pitstop is compatibility with the stock firmware. I went to downloading, tweaking and compiling the firmware and it wasn't that fun. And I'd have to go through the whole process again for every new version. So I designed the Pitstop extruder to reduce maintenance, meaning no firmware changes. This also means I had to work with the existing design constraints. I had to stay close to the original design and couldn't add features like the BL Touch support. But if you are one of the more adventurous ones, let me know in a comment and I can definitely look into this if there's enough interest. I've got two MMU2S units. Sadly, this is all I've been able to print with them. But if you are enthusiastic about that, the pistol extruder supports it with minimal adjustments. You know how the MMU2S replaces some of the parts repositioning the sensor inside the tower up here? For pit stop, what you need to do is take out this steel ball and install this lever here with this slightly modified idler door. This way the sensor is triggered by the filament entering the gears, which is what MMU2S needs. And it's easy to switch back and forth. The sensor position can be adjusted slightly by hand, but I included extra levers of various sizes just in case. There's a pneumatic connector at the top for the multi-material unit or for a dry box. I hold all my filaments in dry boxes and feed it to the printer via PTFE tubes. I can make a video on this if there's interest, so let me know in the comments. Now let's talk about the frame. I've got here the bare frame upgrade. I got it from Ratrig here in Europe. Is the printer better with this frame? I don't know, but it does look cool. Anyways, whether you have this or the stock frame, pit stop should still work. I haven't actually tested it on the original, but it should fit judging by the CAD designs I could find. Pitstop is not compatible, however, with the revised X-axis mod. I only learned about this later, so I didn't take it into account. Problems are that the fan is hitting the motor printed parts and the belt is off by a few millimeters for some reason. However, I've modded that mod to work with Pitstop Extruder if you'd like to use it. It does look more solid to be honest, so I've installed it on this printer. The extruder has its own belt tensioner, but you can use the one that comes with the revised X-axis as well, so you can tension your belt while you tension your belt. <laughs> I've linked the adapted revised X-axis in the description. Perhaps you've noticed that I'm using Igos dry-lin bearings here. You probably know that the stock bearing quality is not that great. I went the route of Igos bearings because they're fairly cheap and very very quiet. Problem with them is that they require tensioning, otherwise they have a bit of play. Some people squeeze or bend them, but that deforms the bearing unevenly, which might impact reliability and print quality. I designed a way of more evenly distributing the compression. It's far from perfect because the printed casing is imperfect, but it does a better job of compressing the bearings and it's fully adjustable. Each bearing has two screws that can be tightened as needed at any time. The other route is to go with Misumi bearings, which my brother tried out and then went back to Igos after noticing print surface artifacts and flat surfaces wouldn't come out as smooth anymore. Whichever bearings you choose to use, they will fit here as long as they are the same dimensions as the originals. I've got a more stock printer, but on this one perhaps you've noticed that I've replaced the extruder motor with a 0.9 degrees one for smoother prints. I've also changed the X and Y axis motors with bigger 0.9 degrees motors. But this requires more power, so I moved to an SKR board and the stronger TMC2209 drivers and the Marlin 2.0 firmware. So if you're feeling adventurous, you can definitely go this route. You can check Chris Riley's YouTube channel for video instructions and Chris Warcocky's YouTube channel. And I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. See their channel links in the description. They're amazing people with lots of tutorials like that. What do you think about these compatibility aspects? There are a lot of 3D printer mods thanks to our open source community. Is there one you like and want it supported by the Pitstop extruder? Let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for more like this. Check out my other Pistop related videos and until next time, be awesome! 
feed it to the printer via 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 via